lesson is on fractions. To be more specific, parts of a set. Woo! I love it! Let's get to it! Here's our problem, or better yet, here is our set. Alright, we want to find a fraction that represents the total number of squares in this set. First thing we have to do is find the denominator. The denominator is the total number of shapes in this set. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The denominator is eight. Now we have to find the numerator. The numerator is the total number of squares in this set. Let's count. One, two, three, mm, four. There are four squares in this set, so therefore our numerator is four. The fraction is four eighths. So what I'm saying is, there are eight shapes and four of them are squares. But we're not done. We need to simplify four eighths. How are we going to do that? Hmm. I'm going to think of a number that can go into both four and eight evenly that's greater than one. How about four? Let's do it. Now, whatever I do to the numerator, I have to do to the denominator. Four divided by four? One. Eight divided by four? Two. The fraction is one half. That means half of all these shapes is squares. That concludes our lesson on fractions, parts of a set, Coach Mike, at my growing brain. Challenge yourself.